The characters of Christopher Allen Lloyd are real movie diamonds. And the role of Dr. Emmett Brown in the bestseller Back to the Future is rightly considered a star in the creative biography of the Hollywood maestro. Despite his respectable age, the old-timer of the dream empire is still in formation and pleases an army of millions of fans with his appearance on the screen. Childhood and Youth Mother gave birth to Lloyd at age 42. The son was the youngest of seven offspring of successful lawyer Samuel R. Lloyd and club singer Ruth. Her brother, Roger Lapham, served as mayor of San Francisco. According to family legend, the star's maternal forefather was John Howland, who settled in New England in the 1600 seconds. Howland's descendants were Franklin Roosevelt, George Bush and Benjamin Spock. And then there's the best actor according to American film history, Casablanca star Humphrey Bogart. Apparently, the genes of the legendary Bogart woke up in Christopher Lloyd, because at 14, having studied at the elite Massachusetts school Fassendina, the guy went to the stage of the summer theater and never left it. While studying at Staples High School in Connecticut, Christopher played in amateur productions and dreamed of acting. After graduation, in 1958, the young man went to New York, where he honed his skills in the drama department of the student Lee Strasberg Sanford Meissner. The teacher taught the young actors the technique of playing the system of Konstant in Stanislavski's own interpretation. Theater. On the professional stage, 19-year-old Christopher Lloyd came out, replacing the sick actor in the main cast. In the early 1970s, the name of the artist is not disappearing from the Broadway theater billboards. Lloyd played at small theaters up to half a thousand spectators of the main characters of Shakespeare's plays A Midsummer Night's Dream. Macbeth and King Lear. Soon, Christopher's repertoire grew to 200 roles. The characteristic appearance of the artist, low, creaky voice, rolled eyes, lean physique dictated the role. Christopher often reincarnated in villains and villains, rather than romantic and positive characters. In 1973, the Broadway actor was awarded the prestigious Drama Desk Award for Excellence in the title role in Casper. In 2013 the actor recalled his brilliant theatrical past and came to the Broadway stage, playing Aztec in the play Caucasian Chalk Circle based on the novel by Bertolt Brecht. Movies Christopher Lloyd's cinematic biography began with a triumph. In 1975, he starred in Milo's Foreman's cult film, which won five Oscars. The drama one flew over the cuckoo's nest with Jack Nicholson and Danny DeVito in the lead roles brought Lloyd recognition. The successful debut prompted the actor to move to Los Angeles and immerse himself in the Hollywood film industry. On the screens comes out movie after movie with the actor. In the paintings and TV series Christopher Lloyd with his non-standard appearance plays Strange Men of All Stripes, of which the audience is crazy. In 1978, the premiere of the sitcom Taxi. Christopher Lloyd was entrusted with a big role of former hippie and priest, a drug addict and cab driver Jim Ignatowski for his work in the comedy film actor twice called on stage to present Emmy. Until the mid-1980s, Christopher Lloyd appeared in a dozen paintings, honing his acting skills. And in 1985, he fell a resounding glory, in the comedy fantasy project Robert Zemeckis' Back to the Future Christopher embodied the image of a half-mad scientist Emmett Brown. The eccentric doc invented a time machine, carelessly revealing the secret to high school student Marty McFly, the latter played by the brilliant Michael J. Fox. The best-selling comic book grossed 20 times its budget, becoming the box office leader. In 1989 and 1990, sequels to the film were released. Film Saga brought the creators of the box office order of $958 million and Christopher Lloyd the status of Hollywood global stars. Since then, the actor is only offered the roles of the first plan. In 1986, he appeared on screen in the form of Professor Beans in the serial tape Amazing Stories and two years later starred in the Zemeckis detective comedy Who Framed Roger Rabbit, playing a wily Judge Rock. Toward the end of the 1980 seconds, Christopher Lloyd was the happy owner of a third Emmy for his role as Professor Dimple in the serial drama Road to Avonlea. A new wave of viewer love poured over the Hollywood star after his reincarnation as Uncle Fester in the black family comedy The Addams Family directed by Barry Sonnenfeld. Infernal Family so pleased with the audience that in 1993, Sonnenfeld shot a sequel titled Addams Family Values. 
Detective retro comedy producer George Lucas' Radioland Murders, in which Lloyd delighted fans as sound engineer Zoltan, also graced the star's filmography. Christopher Lloyd drew the line at the 1,990 seconds with a remake of the comedy My Favorite Martian, in which he appeared as an alien in tandem with Jeff Daniels, Daryl Hannah and British star Elizabeth Hurley. The exception in a series of not very successful series of the 2000 seconds, which closed after the first season, was the movie hit Interstate 60. Bob Gale's black comedy on a budget of $7 million brought box office receipts of $25 million. Do not be surprised, because the main characters play James Marston, Gary Oldman, Michael J. Fox and Kurt Russell. In the stellar company, Christopher Lloyd's talent shone with all its facets. Viewers again enjoyed playing the favorite in the movie in 2014. In the star company of Seth MacFarlane and Charlize Theron, Christopher Lloyd appeared in the comedy western A Million Ways to Die in the West. Along with Stephen Hawking and Elon Musk, Lloyd was listed as one of the best guest cameos on the sitcom The Property Division Callison. An explorer of mysterious otherworldly beings, inspiring not only literary exploits, but also terrible crimes, the artist managed to become. Staying in the image of Bernard Rochin a member of the Society White Circle from the thriller Muse. At the end of September 2017, the Hollywood star honored the Comic-Con Festival in Russia with his presence. Christopher Lloyd met with fans at the Capitals Crocus Expo and answered questions from Russian users of the social network VContact. The same event held in Kiev. The artist visited with his famous colleague Danny Trejo two years later. Personal Life Christopher Lloyd has a rich filmography and no less rich personal life. The actor married four times, but all marriages ended in divorce. With his first wife, Catherine Boyd, he lived 13 years and parted in 1971. Three years later, he took the actress Kay Thornborg to the wedding, with which he also spent a dozen damn years. A year after his divorce from Kay, he married Carol Ann Vanek and lasted three years with her. Surprisingly, family life with his fourth wife, screenwriter Jane Walker would also fit into a time slot of 13 years. Christopher Lloyd has no children in either marriage. The artist's nephew Sam Lloyd was also a well-known figure, a musician and actor who starred as lawyer Ted Buckland in the comedy series Scrubs. However, in the spring of 2020, Samuel died suddenly of illness at the age of 56. Unsuccessful marital unions have not discouraged the Hollywood star's habit of marriage, and he meets old age in a couple with real estate agent Lisa Loyakin, with whom he married in 2016. The chosen one is 32 years younger than the mayor. Photos of Christopher Lloyd with the young beauty Lisa are distributed, not only by the press, but also by the actor himself on his personal page on Instagram. Lloyd does not like unnecessary appearance in public, so in his contract indispensable point, a release from the duty to give interviews and participate in promotional campaigns. In his spare time Lloyd fishes, listens to classical music or travels by bicycle.